Hello everyone. Welcome back to this tutorial on Informatica IDMC MDM SAS. If you are planning to move from Informatica on-prem version to Informatica IDMC or SAS version, or you are going to start your career as a fresher in Informatica IDMC, then this tutorial is going to help you. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about what are the chiclets or the microservices which will be used to implement Informatica MDM SAS. First thing first, if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe my channel. And also do not forget to hit this like button. Let's move ahead. As I said, in this lecture, we're going to understand the chiclets. Chiclets are nothing but the microservices. Those are the granular functionalities by using which you can develop the small component and integrate all those components to provide complete MDM solution. When you access the Informatica IDMC, it's a bigger platform and within that platform, we have this multiple microservices. The endpoint URL for this Informatica IDMC will depend on the which pod you're going to access. If you're going to access the East Coast pod, then you'll have the East Coast endpoint. If you're going to access the European IDMC pod, then it will have the European endpoint URL. So based on your region or the access you granted, you'll have the different endpoint URL to access the IDMC. When you access the endpoint, you will get the username and password pop-up. Also, you'll see the single sign-on. So if you click on this, you'll get the pop-up where you can provide username and it will automatically log in. If you do not have the username, then you can optionally use the org ID to log in. I have the username password, so I'll access IDMC by using username password. Once you log in to the IDMC, it will show us all the services present within that IDMC. As we can see, all the services for which I have access are listed here under the My Services. There are other services also available. How can you access that? To access all the services, you can select this show all services. This will list all the services for which you access and the for which you do not have access as well. For example, under the common services, I have access to administrator, info core, monitor, and operation insights. There are two other services which are highlighted in green, such as Clear GPT and Cloud Data Integration for Power Center. For this, I do not have access. As we can clearly see, the chiclets or the microservices for which I do not have access are mentioned in the gray color. When you implement Informatica MDM solution, there are various chiclets for which you need access. So what are those chiclets? For that, let me go back to the my services where I have access. So out of all the services or the, all the chiclet, the very first chiclet for which you need access is nothing but the administrator. What is the purpose of administrator chiclet? By using the administrator chiclet, of course, you can configure secure agent and other administrative properties. Along with that, you can configure the connections to the database from which you are going to bring the data to MDM SAS. Not only that, you can create Business 360 FAP connection and Business 360 regular connection to bring the data or to ingress the data in Customer 360 application. If you are going to expose some of the services as a application services component, then you need to create Swagger file and CI process connector. And those can be created using administrator. So yes, administrator is important chiclet to have access. What are the next chiclets you need to have access? Whenever you implement MDM solution, you normally deal with standardizing and cleansing the data. That means you need to perform the data quality analysis first and come up with the rules to implement the data quality. And hence, the next chiclet for which you need access is nothing but the data profiling. By using data profiling, you can profile the data and come with the cleansing and standardization rules. 
Once you capture those cleansing and standardization rules, then you can use the data quality chiclet to implement those rules. For example, if you are going to use the address doctor to implement address standardization, then you need to use data quality to implement the address doctor. If you are going to use the data validation in your project, then you need to access data quality chiclet. So far we saw the four chiclet, administrator, data profiling, data quality and data validation. Now once you are done with the basic framework or basic structure, the next thing is the loading the data to the MDM SAS, which chiclet for which you need access. The very first chiclet you need to have that access is nothing but the data integration. By using the data integration, you can perform the batch load operations. You can connect to the source and connect to the business 360 or the customer 360 connector and load the data to the MDM SAS. You can use data integration chiclet to implement mapping, mapping task and task flow. And this mapping, mapping task and task flow are used for ingressing the data that means loading the data and egressing the data that means exporting the data from the MDM SAS solution. When you execute the jobs from the data integration or if you execute the ingress, egress job, you can monitor using the monitor chiclet. In case if you like to invoke APIs or the REST web services, then you can achieve that by using application integration chiclet. And once you develop any web service or any web service component using IDMC, you can manage that by using application integration console. So these are the core components for which you need access. Now let's understand what are the MDM related chiclets. In order to access or update the MDM data model, you need to have access to Business 360 Console Chiclet. It is very important. It is as good as Informatica MDM Hub if you have already used the on-premise MDM. This is very powerful Chiclet by using which you can not only modify the data model of Customer 360, but also you can create match and merge rules, ingress job, egress job, and many other components. So you definitely need access to this chiclet. Once you have the access to all the chiclets, the as a business steward or as a business user, you might need to access the end application. For example, for customer, it's a customer 360 application. For product, it's a product 360 application. For reference data, it is a reference 360 application. So if you are going to deal with the user end experience, then you need to have the access to the chiclet such as customer 360, reference 360, product 360, etc. If you are not going to use any of these out of the box solution, then you need to have access to the multi domain MDM chiclet. Now we can see all these chiclet which you are seeing in this screen are important for implementing Informatica MDM SaaS solution. I'll mention it again. First, you need access to administrator, then the data quality chiclet, such as data quality, data profiling, data validation. Then you need integration chiclet, such as data integration chiclet, application integration chiclet, or application integration console. Then we need access to chiclet, such as business 360 console, customer 360, reference 360, etc. And finally, we definitely need access to the monitor chiclet to monitor the jobs. I hope this beginner's tutorial is going to help you to start your career in Informatica MDM SaaS. If you have any questions or queries about on-prem MDM or MDM SaaS, feel free to mention in the comment section of this video. And do not forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you again and have a wonderful time.